April is National Pet Month. Thought it might be quite a nice idea if we created some leaflets uh, helping people to understand how best to look after their pets. They're all helping us at the moment, so let's see how we can help them. The place I'd go to first, I think, is Tools. And inside there, I have this folder called To Publish Plus. I open that up. You can see that we have two leaflets here, a blank simple and a blank slightly more advanced version. I'll go on to the advanced one because it has all the features of the previous one on it anyway. I click and just launch the app. You can see it can be used for absolutely any topic you wish. So you can choose whichever pet you might have as a pupil or as a teacher you may decide that you want to put something specific onto the document. Uh, to actually change this front page here, just click on your uh, teacher's mortarboard to be able to alter it. And you're now in teacher mode. So that when you bring that back, you can in fact edit and change the picture, etc. You want to see more about that? Just go up to the helpful bits at the top. So here we have the leaflet. What I really like about this is that you can open the leaflet out so you can see what it would look like in a three-dimensional form. They can be printed off. If you're able to do double-sided printing, then this will come out as a, a full size on A4 and form into a sort of a, a Toblerone or prism shape. You can flip it over so we can see the other side of it. Uh, if you're not able to do double-sided printing, you just fold the thing in half and it comes out half size. So we are on our front page. We can upload an image, something that's already been collected on your device. We're looking at pets here. So I might just choose a complete image to open. I can zoom in just as you'd expect. The problem is taking some of the little animals out, so I'll just choose that one. In it pops, and then just as it says on here, right in here. And in this area also, they can just put in uh, this is a leaflet to help you to look after your pet dog. Fill all the different bits and pieces in. Turn over maybe so we're going aside. We can add another picture here. People can also draw a picture if they wish to. If they don't want to draw using the felt tip pens, they might want to use the clip art that's available in all of the templates. Click on animals. Some interesting pets we might have here. There we go. We can stick our dog in there. You might also want to put some of this food in. So we just go down to the food part. Dogs. What do they eat? I'm sure I should be extremely happy if it could have something like that. But again, you can see we've got the upload on this bit here also. So, quite nice, quite simple. They can suggest all the different ways of looking after one pet or may choose to do a number of different ones all in the same leaflet. Another thing you might do is just put a search in to see what's actually in Purple Mash related to pets. I'll put a simple search. And we've got a few different folders. Down here, we've got an example from the uh, simple leaflet. I'll just quickly show you that one. So, so slightly different, not quite as many boxes to fill in. A few nice paw prints added on there. Some clip art inside. These can all be set as to-dos. You have uh, information about cats and dogs that you could just create. similar sort of format if you don't want them to actually make a complete leaflet 
and with the think abouts at the side just to help to guide them through sorts of things to include. This could actually be saved and put into any of the leaflets also just by using your teacher tools and teacher mode as you may have used previously. There's a particularly nice bit in uh, Simple City. We just launched that. Everybody likes using Simple City. And I can take my pets to the vets and create all sorts of different scenes. So there's something for every different age group on here. I can start dressing. Put my hamster in his wheel. I'll put the dog's collar on. As you can see, highly interactive. I just come out of Simple City. As you can see, even just having some nice drawing activities or a simple game. From the home page, you will also see that in the featured panel, we have a folder specifically for National Pet Month with some additional bits and pieces that pupils may wish to look at. Hopefully some ideas for you to be able to send out to your pupils. Uh, National Pet Month actually lasts until the 10th of May, so plenty of time for them to be getting stuck in.